Muar is a town and the capital of Muar district, Johor, Malaysia. It is one of the most popular tourist attractions in Malaysia to be visited and explored for its food, coffee and historical buildings from the pre-war. An alternative name to it is Bandar Maharani. It is declared the royal city of Johor by Sultan Ibrahim Sultan Iskander and is the fourth largest city in Johor. It is the main and biggest town of the bigger entity region or area of the same name, Muar which is subdivided into the Muar district and the new Ledang district, which was upgraded into a full-fledged district from the Tang Kak sub-district earlier. Kang Ping Cafe is founded in 1973 by Madame Tan Sul Yan and her husband Mr. Wang Kang Kang. It is located in a strategic location near the stadium in Muar town. The signature dishes of Kang Ping Cafe are traditional charcoal roasted toast with kaya and butter spread, steamed traditional bread and half-boiled egg with soy sauce and pepper. The strategy of King Ping Cafe to attract customers is to provide the authentic traditional Hainanese taste to the customers. The kaya spread for the toast is self-made with own recipes which give the toast a unique taste. Without any premium decoration, King Ping Cafe retains its local Kapish Yam style as one of the features. King Ping Cafe is opened in the early morning which is 6 a.m. in order to provide the customers a place to have their breakfast. A cup of Hainan coffee with a kaya toast would be a good choice for people to kickstart their day. It is closed at 5 p.m. which is after the high tea session. The elderly people often stop by and order some drinks to spend their time reading the newspaper or chit-chatting. Madam Tan Su Lan is an entrepreneur who is currently 77 years old. She is born in China and came to Malaysia in the 60s. Madam Tan study until standard 6 of primary school the education level among the citizen is not high in her era. In 1966, she got married to Mr. Wong Kang Kang and they have 6 children, 3 sons, and 3 daughters. <laughs> As the burden of her family became heavier when her children grow up, Madame Tan decided to start a coffee shop business to earn more income. Madame Tan came from Hainan Island, China which is the major base of coffee production. She fully utilized her skill and experience of coffee brewing that she learned from his hometown in their business. She wanted to inherit the traditional Hainanese taste and del their coffee shop serves traditional Hainan coffee and bread as the main food. In order to maintain the authentic traditional taste, Madame Tan preserved the way of roasting bread with charcoal fire. She also developed her own recipe for making kaya coconut jam, to serve with the toast. Madame Tan is definitely a determined person. In order to reduce the burden of her husband, she went through all the obstacles and struggles and started the coffee shop business to earn more income for the family. Madame Tan is confident enough to start the coffee shop although she has no experience in running business. She has taken initiatives and believed in her ability to build the business with hard work. Independence is another strength that can be found in Madame Tan. She is self-reliant and able to handle multiple tasks. She also has a strong sense of responsibility for the business and her family. In order to add a competitive advantage to her business, Madame Tan has developed her own recipe for making kaya as well as seeking relevant knowledge about the food and beverage that she sell in her business. In order to add a competitive advantage to her business, Madame Tan has developed her own recipe for making kaya as well as seeking relevant knowledge about the food and beverage that she sell in her business. Madame Tan might not be a relationship builder as her social awareness to develop mutually beneficial relationships is relatively low. This is due to her preservative personality in running the business. Madame Tan has a conservative mindset as she does not make changes in her business frequently and continues to operate the business in a safe and stable manner. 
there are always threat toward this traditional coffee shop for example, nowadays, most teenagers prefer to go premium cafe with exquisite decoration for their gathering session. Those cafes provide a more cozy and comfortable environment for them to spend their time than coffee shop. These customers may prefer to go to the restaurant with more food selection menu. There is no grandson would like to take participation in continuing the business as they would like to work in a big city instead of a small town. Besides that, they also found that the business was low profits and it is hard to feed a family with the inflation nowadays. In order to keep the regular customers and attract teenagers to visit the coffee shop, Madame Tan planned to invest some money in renovating the coffee shop to provide a good environment. Madame Tan can rent out some space to invite food vendors to run their business in the shop, this can provide more variety of food for customers. In conclusion, Madame Tan was a successful entrepreneur as she ran the coffee shop business for more than 50 years. Even though Madame Tan was conservative in running her business, but it was one of the main issues that make her business a success and stand still for 50 years. She also insisted on delivering the authentic traditional Hainanese taste by serving toast with handmade kaya and Hainan coffee. This is the reason it attracts a lot of local citizens to become her loyal customers.